Okay, the process to model the wheel is pretty simple. We're going to begin with a simple line that we can then box in, control, and force into roughly the shape we want. In this case, it needs to look something like this right here. And we're only going to do a quarter of the shape itself. Once I've got that, I'm going to assign some smart dimensions to it. But first, I need to establish this line right here that is the revolve line. I'm going to change it into a center line so that we can then revolve around it in a few minutes. Just a moment. All right, once I've got this, I'm going to simply set up my dimensions to control this guy. First off, I know my inner axle has to be exactly one inch. I know the outside of this guy, excuse me, the outside of this guy is much, much smaller. In this case, it's going to go from this point to this point. have a total diameter of 1.5. Right. I'm going to tweak this dimension right here because I think it, yep, I typed it in wrong. One. That looks much better. Next victim. We're going to take this line right here and set its total length to be 0 0.0, excuse me, 0 0.6875. undo that real quick and put in a separate dimension to control the thickness of this piece right here. This piece right here has to be 0.25. Okay, now we can control this one at 0.6875. Okay, once we've got those two done, we just need to know the total diameter of this thing, which from this distance right here is 0.125. This distance from here to the bottom here is 0.25, and this distance from here all the way to my center line is 2. Excuse me, 4, because I forgot I've got this in half, and this line right here got to be 0.75. Once I have established that, I can simply take and go, okay, I'm going to take all of this and mirror it. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use my mirror function right here. Right, that one. Where's my mirror function? Right there. Mirror line is that one right there. Now, I'm going to simply remove this center line right here, clear out. Once I've got that, I'm then ready to revolve this piece. So, we're simply going to finish this sketch. We're going to go to the revolve function, and it's the only thing there to revolve, full revolve. Hit the OK, we are done. 